What's wrong with caught no mice? In Kipling's story, Below the Mill Dam, this passage occurs. He shouted large and vague threats to my address, last night at tea, that he wasn't going to keep cats who caught no mice. Those were his words. I remember the grammar sticking in my throat like a herringbone. The speaker, like all cats, is fastidious to the point of pedantry, so the point of grammar can only be a trivial, or even ridiculous, one, but even so I can't see anything wrong with the expression. Can any fellow pedant, or cat, enlighten me? There is nothing wrong with the grammar of the quoted section, caught no mice, either the speaker was being overly finicky and misjudged the grammar, or he is referring to the grammaticality of the rest of the large and vague threats. It's the verb tense. Asterisk I'm not going to keep cats who court no mice. Is wrong, it should be catch no mice or who have caught no mice. The error must be in the three words in inverted commas, caught no mice. I think it is in the plural, mice. It should be, mouse, if one mouse is singular, no mouse is even less plural, a fortiori. The sentence sounds correct only because the narrator is speaking in the past tense, so he wasn't going to keep a cat who caught no mice sounds correct. Since caught no mice is quoted, it can be assumed it's extradite from another, slightly different quote. I'd assume the character who originally spoke the sentence being later references would have been speaking in the present tense, as in, I'm not going to keep any cats who. In which case, caught no mice would be incorrect grammar. It would have to be catch no mice or I haven't caught any mice. Please excuse the poor formatting sent from my iPhone. Okay,